I'm not running away. These people need my help. Earl Bartholomew was a good man. How they humiliated him in front of his children. It was not right. He will come to help us. No woman, they will hang him. But why? <laughs> How do we deserve this? Why has God forsaken us? He has not forsaken you. But our children are sick. Our husbands were killed. <laughs> I'm not running away. Thank you, Prior, for your clemency. Uh, I know there is only so much you can do. <coughs> it was the Hamleys. They couldn't get their rotten son married to our young lady. If there is any justice in the world, the king will punish them. The children are all alone. None of them are crying. Children, take some food. Please, take it. You have to eat. Take some bread for your children. This is not enough. He has more bread. I saw it. Please, our children are starving. Give us bread for our children. I gave all I could give. Don't move, Pa. I can work. I've always worked. Please let us stay. What is this, Pa? Your leg has turned all black. I taught my children how to make baskets and ropes. Ah, Good man. Earl Bartholomew was a good man. Good man. Earl Bartholomew was a good man. No, I'm all right. Others need it more than I. Take it. Share it with the others. But you have to eat too. Thank you, Father. Please give some to those give people it over to there. Us. We have Why nothing. did this happen? What did we Our do? Our children wrong? will die in this cold. Huh? Wake Please, up, Please let us stay. Where we can work. <laughs> Philip, we are running out of room. Have you done as I told you? We have cleared out the houses and put up fires. All houses are occupied, and our brothers are treating the sick and injured. 
there is still some room in the guest house and in the dormitory. Tomorrow, we will open the cathedral. We need all the room we can get. Prior Philip? Yes? I am Tom, Master Builder, and I'd like to rebuild your Northwest Tower. Dear God, you look even worse than the others. Like they haven't eaten in days. They just don't stop coming, do they? I have worked on Salisbury Cathedral. My last employer was the Earl of Shiring himself. I know my craft. If you let your tower collapse, it may tear down parts of the nave. Hire me, and I'll make it strong again. Do you not see how many there are in need? They need help as much as you do. They all followed a profession once. They all want to work. That child? You are raising a child? My brother found Jonathan in the woods and brought him here. The poor boy would have frozen to death if it hadn't been for God's great mercy. Jonathan. Look, I am sorry, but all I can offer you is a place to sleep. I'll accept, but I'd rather earn it. We didn't come here to beg. Ask God, then. That wouldn't be begging, it'd be prayer. You remember what I told you about the kindness of monks? Ask God. That wouldn't be begging, it would be prayer. <laughs> oh, I will pray. I will pray for a thunderbolt to strike the church and level it to the ground. I wonder if they refused us because of me. Do they know you? I used to live close to here, so it is possible. Why can't Tom repair their church? Because these monks want to hold on to their coin as long as they can. Well, they can't see that it's about to collapse. If it did, I'd have work for a lifetime. But no, they believe it can all be held together by prayer. Maybe that monk will change his mind. He seemed nice. He won't. I could see it in his eyes. He's a stubborn one. Can I look around a bit? Yes, but don't stroll too far. Be cautious of those monks. I told you the baby would be safe. What baby? Monks may Mother. be Mother. Not now. But they Jack. take care of their own. He will grow up to be a monk. He will. Well, I guess there are worse things than growing up close to God. Mm. Jonathan. That's the name they've given him. A gift from God. I am not a ghost, little redhead, even if I am at death's door. If you go first, I will put you in the ground. It's what I do. I'll make it a nice grave. You'll like it, but you must dig me one, too, when my time comes. Agreed? Oh. That's not very nice. You must not be afraid to die. Death is not the end. There is more after. That's the secret. That is what all this here is about. You see? Are you? Oh, you're one of the refugees from Earl's Castle, aren't you? I'm from the forest. From the forest? I saw you. You must be a refugee. Don't lie about it. We monks do not do things like lying. Huh. 
You again? I don't have time for children. Oh, why are they taking so long? He's always hearing things. First it's Adolphus, now Prior James. What's next? You always see things. So what? At least I'm no thief. Stop it. Tell us, what did you see? He was walking around the cathedral. And then he went here, into the river. Philip said, for a self-murderer, there is no salvation. Maybe you are right. Maybe it was him. We should not fear him. We should pity him. Pray for him, brothers. I will not change my mind on this matter. We will help them, all of them. Remigius, do you truly want to leave these people to die? We should remove ourselves from the world, my prior. It is for God to decide, not us. We will help these people. We must. Hey, what are you doing here? Remigius here is right. This is no place for children. Now I remember her. What is it now, Remigius? This woman. She came with the Builder. Yes? She is not a refugee. What do you mean? She's an outlaw. She's been here in the past. Prior James warned me about her. She is not from Earl's Castle, she's from the forest. But her husband? I doubt they are married. Young man, are you not the Builder's son? What's your name? Jack Builder. See, he is the Builder's son. Well then, off you go, Jack. A strange child. And as suspicious as his mother. When in doubt, we shall believe in the good of man. Fornicators, that's what they are. That woman must be expelled from Kingsbridge. I will let them prove themselves like everyone else. someone would just tear that cathedral down so we could start afresh. That would require a miracle, and I really don't know a thing about them. I'm so tired. Come, I'll sing you a lullaby. Actually, it's Jack's favorite. A lark caught in the hunter's net sang sweeter then than ever as if the falling melody might wing and net dissever at dusk the hunter took his prey the lark is freedom never all birds and men are sure to die but songs may live forever
Why is the bowl on the pedestal? Do people drink here? Very, very dry. Very, very dry. Hmm, like Mother's garden at home. They'll be back in a minute. Don't you worry. The dead stay dead. And when they come back, we will rejoice. Oh, God. Oh.
When you die, you go to sleep. And someday, someday, God wakes you up. Fall over already! Fall over already! of food. Who is it? The mason's boy. I'm sorry, but I cannot help you. Come back in the morning, will you? Those poor souls. They can hardly sleep. At least they don't have to take care of a baby. Leave her, Jack. She's been through a lot. I think she deserves a good night's rest, don't you? Jonathan. I wish I could hold him. I know. But you have to be careful. The monks closed the big door. We're locked in now. Tom? Fine. The monks closed the big door. We're locked in now. Leave her, Jack. She's been through a lot. I told you the baby would be safe. What baby? Monks may be whips, but they take care of their own. He will grow up to be a monk. He will. Well, I guess there are worse things than growing up close to God. Hmm. Jonathan. Fall over a already! A gift from God. Jonathan. I wish I could. Dead is not father. as cold as here. Tom? I'm fine. Only that stupid cathedral will fall apart. I'd rather not. made me promise to behave. No. No.
Why is the bowl on the pedestal? Do people drink here? No, I don't want to extinguish the flame. It's too dark in here already. It won't move. Why is the bowl on the pedestal? Do people drink here? James. It fell over already.
Hmm. It would only make everything wet. Hmm. It would only make everything wet. If they need to build a new cathedral, Tom will get work. And we can stay here, just like Mother wanted. What? <coughs> so much smoke! I can barely breathe! Maybe upstairs I can breathe. I need to get out. So much smoke. I can barely breathe. I need air. Maybe upstairs I can breathe. I need to get out. So much smoke. I can barely breathe. I need air. Maybe upstairs I can breathe. I need to get out. So much smoke! I can barely breathe! I need air! Maybe upstairs I can breathe! I need to get out. Mm, so much smoke. I can barely breathe. I need air. There's a breeze coming from the back.
Captain. You. I know you. I am Max It is you. By God and the devil. They sent you back to punish me. I told them we must repent for what we did to you, to all of them, for my sins cast me into the lake of fire. My dear brother, only two days have passed since you left our priory. Much has happened in these two days. Many desperate men, women, and children have found refuge here. These people were driven from the castle of the Earl of Shiring. Never had I expected a visit from you to cause such grim consequences. I told you I did not want to get involved. These people do not know that we are the cause of their suffering. But God knows what you and I have done. Milius and Cuthbert have taken it upon themselves to feed the baby. They called it Jonathan, the gift of God. Johnny Eightpence was right. He loves goat milk. A gift of God. And yet someone gave up on him. I will not give up on him, or on anyone else. Not on us either, brother, even if the hope for my own redemption is as small and frail as Jonathan is. I pray that this letter finds you in good health. In consideration of my own, I ask that you not talk about our parents again. One must let these things rest. I have made my peace and won't hear any more of it. I heard from you that only three in Earl Robert's employ could read. One of them is my brother. And I hope I can forgive him one day, as I hope God will one day forgive me, your brother, Philip. that? My God. Save yourselves! The saint! We must save the saint! Fire! The whole roof is in flames! My God! Don't go in there! But Alphus! The, the saint! We must save him! No! No! Don't go! While the monks and refugees cleaned up, I kept hidden. I hadn't expected that a magnificent building like this could so utterly collapse. That the ignorant little boy that I had been could so easily turn it back into a pile of dirty stones. I knew then that I had done something wrong. 
and no one could ever find out. Prior Philip, I uh, had the site cleared. It should be safe now. Good work. Thank you, Master Builder. This concludes a very long night, then. Uh, many people left already. They asked me to thank you for your kindness. They're uh, sorry for what happened. Well, they should thank God for his mercy. No one got hurt, no one died. Forty-five monks and eleven novices, all accounted for. No one's missing. No one? Milius and Cuthbert even saved our saint from the crypt. Do you know what caused this? It's God's punishment. Or maybe not. Well, no one got hurt. The books were saved. Even the bones of your saint were unharmed. Maybe this happened for a reason. What do you mean? Here. Let me show you something. I want you to look through the loop on top. Tell me, what do you see? I see ruins. Yes, but beyond that. I see... Dawn. Right. Prior, I am deeply sorry about what happened to your church, but you must remain steadfast. And stare at the sunrise? <laughs> no. No, you're only seeing the sunrise because you're facing east. Straight east like a church. Now, I know you have no money, and that helping people is more important, but we could start right here. Take the stones we've got, and the people who want to help. So, what is it I am looking at, Tom Builder? It's the aisle of your new cathedral. I see it. I see you now. A few weeks later, I received an invitation from Bishop Waleran. In Winchester, we and Waleran's allies were to meet King Stephen himself. The bishop seemed assured that because we had helped the king, Stephen would support us in return. And that with his help, we would be able to rebuild Kingsbridge Cathedral. Percy Hanley. Bishop Waleran. Good morning. Ali! It's them! Over there! The Hamleys! Again, thank you for your assistance in Kingsbridge, my son. We have to thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. Right, Mother? Of course. Well, don't just stand there. Walk out with me, but very calmly. We can't let them see us. Oh, children, pardon me. Now we're only missing one more. Here he is. Good morning. Bishop Henry, this is my prior. Philip of Gwyneth, Prior of Kingsbridge, my Lord Bishop. 
You won't have to say much today, Philip. Leave the talking to us. No, leave the talking to me. King Stephen is my brother, after all. Let us make haste. My brother is an early riser. We must make haste. I want to go hunting in the new forest. England is full of game. No comparison to Normandy. This country is still wild. This is Waylon Bygood, the Bishop of Kingsbridge. Waylon, I remember you. We've met before. And Percy Hamley. My king. He brought Bartholomew to justice. And it's not the first time he's helped me. He has Norman blood in him. <laughs> we should hunt together someday. Indeed, sire. Bartholomew, on the other hand, will not leave the jail alive. Uh, Percy Hamley did not do it without help, my lord. It was I who told him of the plot against you. And now you come to be rewarded as well. I see. My brother, the Cathedral of Kingsbridge has burnt down. Waylon asks for a reward, not for himself. He asks for our church. I take it your church cannot afford to rebuild that cathedral, Henry. Neither can the crown. I, or rather Bishop Waylon, had an idea. You could give the Earl of Shiring's lands to the Bishop of Kingsbridge to finance the rebuilding of the cathedral. I like the idea. But Percy and his men were the ones who took Earl's castle, not Bishop Waylon. Right, Percy? Mm. Uh, yes, my king. He knows the area, and he will be a loyal earl, will you not? Of course, my king. You ought to give thanks to God first. God made you king. Don't go on like that, Henry. Don't do that. You know what happens when you do that. It was a long way to this throne. Yes, my brother. Now I will hunt. My Lord King, I thank you for being willing to reconsider the future of the Shiring Earldom. When shall we hear your decision? Tomorrow. Bring my bow. Tell the men we hunt. Philip, Waylon and I have much to discuss. All right. But what can I do to help? Well, my brother asked me to get a confession from the traitor Bartholomew. A confession would be helpful against those who believe Bartholomew's arrest was unjust. And it may help us to convince my brother to forget all about his promise to Percy Hamley. Percy Hamley will have the Earldom of Shiring. But would he make a good Earl? Who cares? Stephen wanted the throne for 20 years. Now that he has it, he must be loyal to those who are loyal to him. Who knows? Maybe Percy will make a good Earl. From what I've heard, Lady Hamley pulls the strings. <laughs> 